want to give you all a quick update on the fence situation for the dogs. We had Cooper here on a temporary on the chain because we had to keep him away from Rhea because Rhea needs to heal from the wound that she got since they uh, shot a fire a dart into her butt. And uh, anyway, we have to take her to the vet and everything. So, let me see if we can get her turned around so I can show. Yeah. They must have shot her in the butt because she's missing a chunk of hair, like they shaved it. Hold on. I mean, it's all swollen and red. Yeah, she won't stay still. But, um, you see guys, this is why we have to keep him in this electric fencing for the time being. Because we, you can see right here, he's pushed this entire fence up and he just crawls right under. These are not my first dogs. Uh, Pink and I have had dogs. We still have our uh, Lagotto Romagnolo. He's a house dog, but you might see him around from time to time. He likes to hang around when I'm working on a project. And uh, the other uh, dog that we had was, a, he passed away unfortunately. Um, but we had him until pretty recently before we got to back here to Virginia. While we were staying in Italy, we had him, and uh, is a uh, he was a pit bull, an American pit bull that uh, Pink had for a number of years, and um, he was a great dog, great great dog, and uh, very well trained. All of our dogs, even the one that we have inside now, the Lagotto, is a very well trained dog. Like he won't leave us, he won't run off. You know, it took a little working at it because it's got a little wild in him as well. Being in, he's a pretty ancient breed, just like our, our great Pyrenees. They're you know, they're uh, they're independent, and he's pretty pretty independent as well. But um, you know, he's he's learned what our expectations are, and 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 our people the same, and. We've had other dogs before them too. I mean, I've had dogs in the past as well. I used to have a Doberman uh, as well for a while. Uh, when we first adopted them, we walked them on the leash all along the perimeter of the fence and everything to show them what the lines were. And we, we you know, we gave them, we have been giving them training. We're not watching them 24 seven because we have other things as well that we have to do. We're not here to train dogs singularly, and we're not here to breed dogs for money or anything of that sort. Uh, we only got the dogs because we have coyotes in the area, we have black bear in the area, and, and other animals, and predators, and, so, and also hawks. We have a lot of hawks always flying above our house. So we thought that it would be safe for our animals to just an added safety and also their great guard dogs just to have them around and so they'll come around but you gotta understand those dogs are puppies uh, once they are over two years of age and they'll have a while to go it's like a year and a half for Cooper and another at least six months or so for Rhea so they're both puppies. So they're in the puppy stage still. It's going to take them a while for them to understand what our, our expectations are and how they have to behave and how ex we expect them to behave. No matter what kind of training we give them, they're puppies. They're going to need their time to, to understand all of that. So I'm having some coffee. Uh, it's a... Uh, a little milk in it. <laughs> Actually guys, I want to tell you about, I'm not an advocate for Walmart or anything like that, but their own brand, the Great Value brand of coffee, it's right next to the Folgers. I found it, I thought I'd give it a try because I wasn't happy with the Folgers. It's full of fillers. And uh, we bought the Great Value coffee from Walmart and it is outstanding. It smells great, it tastes great, 
Uh, it's American coffee, but it's 100% Arabica, Colombian. Uh, and they have different uh, the other ones too. They have like French roast, but we got the Colombian to try it, and it's absolutely awesome. Best coffee I have tasted in a long time, just to let you know. And I'm Italian, and I like the espresso and the cappuccinos as well. Don't get me wrong. We'll get around to that at some point. But uh, for the time being, American coffee it is. Um, but it tastes great. So just uh, putting it out there. And we're not getting sponsored or anything. I'm just, you know, sharing uh, my own experience and uh, what works and what doesn't for me, for us. That's all we do, really. It's just like sharing our own experience with everybody. We're not here to give advice or teach or any, do any of that stuff on these channels. So, anyways, guys, that is the update with the dogs. They're happy. They're back together because it's been a week or so since her the accident now. And Rhea has healed enough. Uh, like I mentioned uh, before, we had to take her to the vet. Uh, she was getting infected from the shot. They gave her when they captured her the, and took her to the pound. Uh, they fired a dart on her butt. And uh, so, but she's been healing. We've been giving her the antibiotics. We've been giving her um, putting the cream on it and cleaning it and washing it every day with the special soap that the vet gave us. And she's doing better now. She's doing much, much better. So we put them back together because they want to be together. In the week that we had them separated, um, uh, Rhea um, didn't seem to care too much, but Cooper was going nuts, like he wanted to be with her. So they're already a team, I think. They've been together now for a couple of months, so they're getting used to one another. And they're getting used to us. Like I said, it takes time. But as you can see, they're perfectly happy. They have their house. They have more than enough space to run around because it goes back behind the house there, the fence. So uh, it's a pretty good size area. They can move around, run around. If I can get them into the picture because they keep moving. <laughs> they like to tr they're hiding from me. Let me see. Rhea is in their hole that she dug there. See that? They're happy. We don't have a choice. I mean, this is the way it has to be right now. I mean, I don't like it either, okay? <laughs> but that's the way it has to be. I bought this wire that I have already used in parts of the fence, but I'm going to have to use it throughout the entire perimeter of the fence. And I'm going to put the wire on the bottom and weave it through the fence and make it as tight as I can. And I'm hoping that the wire will keep the dogs from crawling under. It's a bit challenging, but we'll, we'll work with it. And once they get, like I said before, once those dogs get past a certain age, usually 24 months, a couple of years, uh, once they get past that, then they'll be okay. That is what I've been hearing. That is what I've read about this type of dogs. And that's true, I think, with most dogs. They, they really, the puppy stage is about two years. It's a very chilly, humid day. The humidity factor makes it feel much colder than what it actually is. But my fingertips are freezing right now, holding the camera. Um, we gotta take uh, a little time away from the build. Not a lot, like, a day here and a day there because we have to also work on our garden right it's very important because it's you know that's what this channel is all about is the homesteading self-reliance right uh, rely on yourself as much as possible so but uh, so we pink kind of started laying out the boxes but we'll have to beef them up and uh, also level them so they're not all crooked but you know, there they are. So we're going to adjust them and we'll probably, we'll have more boxes on this side over here as well. Uh, this is a pretty sunny spot right here. 
you get sun pretty much all day long and uh, and then the sun sets over here over those trees so they get good sun all day long and then of course uh, there's that part that we had cleared recently and um, and that looks fantastic we're very happy and then there's a little cabin back there that's in the process of getting built and uh, if you're interested in seeing the build go to our other channel uh, which is Off Grid Life Over 50 and uh, you will be able to follow the entire process of the build and uh, and that cabin there will be completely off grid will have solar um, and it will have a nice wood stove and we have some pretty big plans for it and also what we're going to do with the interior so stay tuned be sure to uh, keep an eye on it because it's going to be something different and um, but anyways our chickens half of, most of them are in some of them are out because you know you always got those that <laughs> they just want to do what they want to do uh, we have to plant those fruit trees I have them sitting here I have three that I have to plant and put in the ground and then we have some other fig trees and other things that we need to we want to plant I have to clean all this pile of junk right there and um, it's coming but you see the dogs back there they're perfectly fine just to show you see they're quiet they see me but they're quiet they're not barking they're not you know doing anything they're just laying there there you go I spoke too soon <laughs> Well, that's it for this video, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. Give it a thumbs up if you feel like it. And uh, lots of things coming, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. You're going to be a good dog. You're not going to run off anymore, huh? Uh, Cooper? Yeah, you're a sweet dog. You're a sweet dog. Yes, I know. You're a sweet dog.